Hey everybody, I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country on MKOCRadio.com. When I was in Tennessee a few weeks back, I had the privilege of meeting this lady and her beautiful family at the uh, Ernest Tubb Midnight Jamboree. And uh, thanks to my friend Frank Mall, he got us in touch, and uh, we've got her on the show tonight. Believe it or not, folks, she is only 12 years old, but I'll tell you what, she has got a powerhouse voice, and she is already open for some big national acts. She's been on the Grand Ole Opry, and she is writing and recording fabulous music on her own. It's my honor to welcome Taylin Hope to My Kind of Country. Taylin, how are you tonight? I'm great. How are you? It's so great to be on the show. Well, it's a pleasure to have you, and I sure enjoy meeting you at the uh, Midnight Jamboree, and you have a wonderful family, too. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for having me, and that was a great show that night. I truly enjoyed it. Well, you can't go wrong when you got David Frizzell and Freddie Hart on the same stage. You can't go wrong, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. It was really fun, and I got to meet a lot of cool people that night also. Oh, man, there was a lot of people there, man. They were lined up out the door. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Well, I want to thank Frank Mull, first of all, for getting us in touch. Uh, Frank has been a good friend of mine for, uh, gosh, I don't even know how many years, but I knew him uh, back when Merle Haggard was still on the road, and uh, Frank was Frank was the go-to guy when Merle Haggard was traveling. So, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 I love Frank. He's, he's just a really great guy. He's always been really sweet to me, and, you know, he he knows a lot of people in the business, and that's just it's just really great to know, talk to him and hear all his stories about country music. Oh, yeah. He's a walking encyclopedia, and I'm always always glad to spend <laughs> time with him. We got to, uh, went and had breakfast with him a few days after that jamboree. We met up with him and Freddie Hart and sat and had breakfast, and it was just really cool to just sit and listen to all the stories, you know. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's really fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, tell me uh, how you got into the country music business, and tell me um, a little bit about your songwriting. Um, I've been um, singing since I was four years old. I started in church. Um, I grew up in North Carolina, and just this past summer, we actually moved to Franklin, Tennessee, which is about 30 minutes from downtown Nashville. It's just been, you know, just a true journey, and my family's just been there, and, you know, God, and just, I just thank them for that every day, and, you know, it's just, it's what I love to do. I mean, most people are like, you know, do you still do kids stuff? Do you still go to school? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm almost 13, and I still, I go to a private school here in Franklin, and um, I'm just enjoying life, and I just, you know, love what I do. And um, your question about songwriting, I started actually songwriting when I was nine, I wrote my first song when I was nine years old and put it on my first EP, and it was called She Prayed Anyway. And ever since then, I've always loved to write songs in school. Writing in English has always just been my favorite subject. So, yeah, I just I just love what I do. Wow. Well, you know, you have an incredible voice, uh, especially for your age. I mean, it's just a powerhouse voice. Have you done voice? So oh, yeah, absolutely. Have you done voice lessons, or has it just kind of come out natural, or how does that all happen? Um, I did voice lessons for about six months when I was about seven years old, and her um, husband got sick and unfortunately, you know, had to quit the voice lessons, but ever since then, I've really never done any vocal training or anything. My mom and my grandma has always sung, so that's where I kind of got it. I just heard them singing, so I just started singing, and I've always just loved it. Wow, that's incredible. Well, you've got a God-given talent, that's for sure, and it definitely shines through well, in your thank music. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got uh, several uh, albums out, and or EPs, I should say. You've got, you're working on a new album uh, yeah. coming out this year called yes. The One to Watch, I'm right? i about that. Yeah, tell me a little bit about that. Um, I've been writing for um, actually a while now, probably the mid-2017, um, just trying to get the, you know the right perfect songs for this album, you know, this album is kind of based on faith, family, and country. It's just going to be a really fun album talking about God and just how much I love my family and know where I come from. And I'm just, you know, trying to get the right songs as of now. I'm going into the studio for the next couple of weeks, laying down vocals, laying down more band tracks and stuff. So I'm super, super excited. And it should be coming out in um, 
mid-2018, so around summertime. Well, great. Well, keep us posted, and uh, when it's done, we'd love to have you back on the show and do a feature on oh, that yeah. as well. Yeah. That would be awesome. Absolutely. Well, your uh, your latest EP that uh, Frank gave me that night is called Showing My Roots, and uh, you, yes. you have uh, co-written every song on this album. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is very impressive. And you've got a pretty big-name uh, producer that's helping out on this, too. Yep. Um, his name is um, Kent Wells. I've been working with Kent for about um, two and a half, three years now. And it, we just really have great chemistry, you know, the music field and stuff. And I just always look forward to going into the studio and, you know, laying down tracks and stuff. And he's just a really great guy to work with. <laughs> Kent's a great guy, and for those that don't know, uh, Kent is a, a Grammy-nominated producer, and uh, he works very closely with Dolly Parton. So that's mm, yep. that is pretty cool to have somebody like that on your project, and the musicians are great mm. too, without a doubt. Oh but, yeah, so fun to work with. Well, tell me about some of the songs on this. Uh, I want to see the world is one that I really like. Tell me a little bit about that one. Um, I want to see the world is a song that I co-wrote. Um. I wrote this one just about because I lived in a small town for basically, I guess you could say, um, 11 years. So um, I've always just wanted to, you know, I got to fly for the first time this past October. And, you know, I played that song the whole time on the flight just because, you know, I've always just wanted to just see the world, I guess. So that's why I wrote that song. I just truly wrote it from my heart. <laughs> Well, you know, one of the things that I've noticed about your songs is that uh, you're, you're writing beyond your years, I guess is the best way to put it. Oh, thank um, you. You, have, you know, it just amazes me at, at your age, the the depth of material that you've got here. And, and the, you know, the songs are just outstanding, and, and everybody can relate to these songs. It doesn't matter what age you are, and I, I applaud you for that. It's, it's great material. Thank you so much. That's what I always try to do in my songs, just, you know, any age try to get people to relate to the songs and just enjoy, you know, stories about, you know, my life and just how much I love music and just traveling, family, and faith and country. Well, that's great. Tell me about the title track. Um, the title track is called um, Show My Roots, and I wrote this with Sarah Beth Terry. Um, this is probably my favorite song I've ever written before just because you know, once I had the idea for this song, I just knew it was just going to be a song that would stick with me probably the rest of my life. And just because I truly wrote this from the heart, you know, I thought about it for a while. And it really didn't take that long to write just because, you know, I thought about it. And just it just talks about my family, which are very, very important to me, God, which is number one, and um, just music and just, you know, where I come from and just how much, how much I love music. Well, you know, it, it uh, tips its hat to your family, and I, I was, you know, like I said, I was blessed to meet your family there at the show, and especially your dad, Chris. I think he's uh, such a nice guy, and I really enjoyed visiting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm super blessed to have a great family that'll go on this, you know, crazy journey with just, you know, almost 13 year old. <laughs> It's really awesome. Well, you certainly hit the ground running. You've got a you've got a, a fantastic career ahead of you, no doubt about it. And uh, folks, I want to let you know that you can visit Talon's website. It's talonhopemusic.com. We will put that information on our Facebook page as well, and you can connect with Talon on uh, Facebook and Twitter and all the usual media suspects. And of course, you can uh -huh. get her get her album at uh, Amazon and iTunes. And of course, you can get it right through her website. I keep saying album; it's an EP. Right? I'm so used to saying album. Albums, but there's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's eight songs on here, so I guess it's close enough to an album, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about performing on the Grand Ole Opry. Well, I, I got to perform on the Grand Ole Opry at the Grand Ole Opry House in October, and I've always said since I was about seven or eight years old, I've always listened to WSM Radio. Um, some people in my town and my dad introduced me to that, and I listen to it like every night in my bedroom, and that's just always been a dream just to sing and stand on that circle. I got to do it for the um, Ralph family tribute, who was just an amazing person in bluegrass and country music. So that was just a true honor just to get to stand on that circle and, you know, truly a dream come true. Well, I watched the video on your website, and you, man, you stood up there tall and proud with all those big stars that were up there. I'm, I'm real proud of that. That's really <laughs> oh, yeah. cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's just, you know, such a presence there. You know, you can't really explain. It's just that's the only time I've probably came off stage crying just because, you know, I was so happy, and it was just 
it's a truly amazing experience just to know so many legends have just performed there and just a true honor just to get to stand there and, you know, sing. Absolutely. And you've uh, you've worked uh, as an opening act for some pretty big names, too. Yeah. Um, um, this past um, year in 2017, I got to open for um, Metal Adu, which is a pretty big name in country music, Chris Ledoux's, um son. He was just amazing, you know, just to get to talk to and just to hear the stories about his life and his dad. I also got to open for Susie Boggess in Kansas also. And um, it was two trips, but of last year, those were both, um, you know, my first, you know, flights and stuff to Kansas. And it was just, it, I just had so much fun. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. You also uh, worked with uh, my buddy T. Graham Brown. Yes, yeah, definitely. He's, he's great. T is one of my favorite people. Him and his wife, Sheila, are some of the best people you can know in country music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a voice. Oh, man, he's such a powerhouse and uh, nicest people. We always enjoy every time we get to spend time with him. He's been on my show. Oh, yeah. He was actually my uh, very first interview when I started my radio show, and he's been on the show. I think he's been on six or seven times. And uh, Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I just, just love him, so I'm really glad to see that you got to work with him. He's so so cool. Oh, yeah, great guy. Well, you've got a, a Christmas uh, release also called Carolina Christmas. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I released that in November of 2017. Um, there's some, you know, I mean, I've always wanted to do a Christmas CD. A lot of people at my church and, you know, in my hometown, and even some people, you know, in Nashville, my producer and band people have always, like, wanted me to do a Christmas CD. So I thought this year was the right year to do it, you know. So um, I just have always loved Christmas music and just, you know, the birth of Christ and everything. And there's, you know, some traditional songs on there, um, you know, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, Oh Holy Night, and some originals on there, which is I co-wrote Carolina Christmas on that one. So, Absolutely beautiful. And your version mm -hmm. of Oh Holy Night is, is stellar. I can't I can't wait till we get to Christmas and I can play these. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, Thank you. That's fantastic. So uh, the new album coming up, and do uh, you have some uh, tour dates at all? Um, yeah, I've got actually a lot coming up. Um, this weekend, I've got a lot of riders rounds, and um, I've been doing. I'm going to be doing a lot and a lot of festivals. I'm going to be very busy at CMA Week this year, and in um, downtown Franklin, I'm going to be doing the Main Street Festival, and also just after that, I'm going to be doing Merle Fest in North Carolina. Um, I've been in the studio really a lot trying to focus, you know, getting on the right songs this past week. And, you know, I'm just, you know, just taking life day by day and just, you know, loving every minute of it. Oh, well, you're very blessed. And you've got, uh, you've got some great people around you, and that's, uh, that's one of the best things in country music is the great people and uh, that you get to meet and work with. And, and there's s such a nice network of uh, help and family feeling out there. Oh, yes, definitely. You know, all the people I've got to meet in just, you know, you know, a few years has just been crazy. And, you know, it's really a small circle. And, you know, it's just truly a big family. And I'm so grateful, you know, to be coming into that and just to meet everyone and just having family support. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we uh, we applaud you for your efforts, and we look forward to playing more of your music on our show and having you back, and uh, we're going to be watching very closely. And again, folks, I want to remind you to go to taylenhopemusic.com. You can get her uh, latest EP, which is called Showing My Roots, and her Christmas uh, CD, which is Carolina Christmas, is available there, as well as her first release, What This World Needs. And, of course, the new album will be available. You can catch up uh, with all of Taylen's tour dates and all the great stuff she's doing just follow her on her website and Taylon, we're going to play some of your music from this EP now and I want to thank you so much for being on My Kind of Country Oh, thank you so much, so great to be on My Kind of Country and thank you so much and um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and again, my name is Taylon Hope and if you'd like to you know, keep in contact with me, I'd love to talk with and chat with you, some of you guys listening and that's all under Taylor Hope Music under all social medias. And I hope to talk to you guys soon and have a um, blessed day. All right. Thanks, Taylor, so much. We appreciate it. And, uh, Thank you. We enjoyed it. Taylor Hope here on My Kind of Country as we continue on MKOCRadio.com.